the WBO featherweight uh, boxing champion of the world. He has a record of 31 wins, no losses. 28 of those were knockout. He is quite a fighter. Take a look at him here in action. And he loves to make big entrances. Please welcome Prince Nassim Hamed. every morning, right? Pretty much the same all thing. The time, just just the get time. to get up the bedroom, go in the bathroom, boom. Can I just say to Julia, I ain't got a problem with ants. You, you do or you don't? I ain't got no problem with, with ants at all. I like ants. Well, that's <laughs> fantastic. I, I, I think they're God's creatures, you know, and we love them. <laughs> Can you do something about the smoke in there? <laughs> <laughs> that's their fault. I didn't even ask for the smoke. It looks like... Sometimes. <laughs> I doubt it. Sorry about There's that. There's not enough that's smoke. Right. <laughs> but you know what? I was thinking of taking up smoke in there. You know, one of those nights when everything's just all worthwhile. Let it, it, it. Now, let me, now. We have a fire marshal in the building. Yeah, yeah. We, you get a fan. That's a lot of smoke. Everything. That is a lot of smoke. This is I'm like gonna, two packs you, a day. You know. <laughs> no, I don't smoke. I didn't, I didn't even ask for the smoke. So. No, this is like I, this is a volcano in Mexico just went off, ladies and gentlemen. We, oh, I can't even see which camera is on there. <laughs> I'll have to put that down to your peeps. It is. It's our fault. Well, let me ask you about it. Yeah, it's clear enough now. Okay, okay. It's clear enough. Here, wait, here, I'll get it. Here you go. Here you go. Here yeah, we go. yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. Clear up the smoke. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Let me ask you about it. Now, now well, what do people say? Do you ever get any flash? Like, do, does your mom, does she ever say the flash? Oh, keep it down. Keep it down. Does she get a kick no, out I'm, of it? No, I think my mom really, really likes it. I yeah, mean, yeah. She's, she's never said about the entrance as being too, too flashy. She actually likes it. My parents like to get entertained just like all the crowd. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Big family? I've got a great family. Uh, I'm very, very close. It's a stable family. I've got uh, four brothers and four sisters. Wow. So where do so you fit in? I'm the man in the middle. Right in the middle? Yeah. Now, man in the middle, doing the business. What's your background? Where, your dad is from where? Is it Yemen? My, my parents are from Yemen, the okay. Middle East. Yeah. Okay. Now, they go nuts in the Middle East for you, don't they? I mean, it's like yeah, a it's, huge... It's great to actually go to a country when you know everybody loves you yeah. uh, and admire you so uh, it's great um the place is a very very nice country everybody's down to earth there. it's really good i can't think of any other fighters recently from from the middle east or from the even from the arab world really are there many there is quite a few uh, yeah. that have been uh, that have done quite good in uh, the boxing career but, but haven't been know, haven't been world champ like yourself right there has been a world champion yeah. there's, a, there's a guy called mustafa i'm sure that did really well yeah yeah uh, he he lives in uh, the states he did really, really well. Bought, he boxed Hagler and all of them. Now, yeah. you were raised in England, right? So you were born in England. as yeah. obviously an English citizen. In Sheffield. And so where did you get into boxing? What made you go that way? Was your dad a fighter? Was... Um, I just lived up the road from a boxing club. Mm -hmm. And uh, one day, I just, there was a lot of success coming out of the boxing club, a lot of talent. So I just went down one day and I found out and went in there, felt the vibe. And it was just for me, you know? Yeah, yeah. So uh, it, it came natural to me, so... Uh, I took it up and I was winning national titles and amateur all the time and then I couldn't wait to turn professional at 18 and become the prince who I am, you know? But now, now, but you're not really a prince, right? Well, for me, really, I am a prince. <laughs> I'm the prince of boxing, you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I would say I'm the royalty of all the pack in the boxing game yeah. because I brought a sparkle into the game that there wasn't, you know? Right. Once my idol walked out of the game, Ali, there wasn't, it wasn't like it is. Do you try so. to fasten yourself after Ali? Because Ali was great for the big entrances and the, you know, and the poetry, and the people didn't know what to make of it at first. the man. Yeah. I've got to give it Ali, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> have you met him? I have not, I've not met him yet, but I'm dying to meet, I'm dying to meet him. So if he's watching, I'm dying to meet you. And at the end of the day, he's a living legend. Yeah. And I feel that I do watch his stuff, and I've watched it from day one, and he's the one that 
inspired yeah. me more than any fighter, you know. So um, I feel that his style, just the way he was, just the way he was as a man, you know, yeah. uh, in and outside the ring, uh, a great man. Do you like to taunt the other fighters? It seems Actually, like you a lot of people ask me bit. if I taunt them or ridicule them or, yeah. you know, make them look a fool. It's just the way my style is. It, it happens. So that would be a yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't mean to go out and just try to taunt them and this and that. The way I just dance and the way I come into the ring right. and the way I just fly and cool with that just makes me look like I taunt them or ridicule them. Right. That's just me, you know. But I that's just confident. I'm very confident. Yeah. Well, we've never lost a fight, right? No, I don't talk about losing. I don't lose, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, that, you want to know, well, you know, I'm would a that, Would that mess up your head? I mean, 31 yeah. wins, 28 by knockout. Would that, would that just throw you off like, oh, my God? I wouldn't say that it messed me up completely, no. Yeah. Uh, I would say that if, if I lose, I lose. It's written from God that I lose. Right, I yeah. believe everything I do is written from uh, Allah. Uh, and I, I can't see myself losing. Tell you the truth, I've never, ever dreamt about losing. I don't visual, visualize myself losing. And I can honestly yeah. tell you, I won't get beat. No, never? But that is it. You ever get a little scared? I ain't, get, I ain't getting beat. Is there, any, is there any fighter out there that scares you in any other weight class? So, I right. mean, like, like, like a Tyson, like a Holyfield. That's a very, very good question because I want to tell you now that I don't fear no fighter. No, really? The only, the only thing that I fear is Allah. I fear God. Right. right. What God can do. I don't fear nobody. Nobody. Okay. Who do you like? Who do you like? What fighters do you... Are there, are there fighters out there of your generation that you admire? Yeah. Um, I, do, I do think that Roy Jones is a very, very good, talented yeah, yeah, fighter. He's good, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've got to take my hat off to him. There's loads and loads of fighters that I can really you know, like. Oscar, you know, Oscar, 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 De yeah. Oscar De La Haye is a very, very yeah, talented yeah. fighter. There's talk about there's so many fighters, though, that are on the top, top stage, but they don't want to fight the best at the division. Me, now, I'm putting it down good. Now, featherweight. I'm fighting, all, I'm fighting all these different kind of fighters that... Right. Are the best, you know, to prove that I'm the best. Now featherweight is for people who don't know. Tell what weight to what weight. How, what's the what's the what, what weight? Well, how many pounds? Oh, uh, I'm one twenty six. One twenty six. That's so, what I fire. What is so featherweight is one eighteen to what one thirty something like that. No, featherweight is one twenty six. Bang on. Oh, oh, okay. You know, okay. but you start at straw weight. Okay. Str this straw weight, and then it leads up another from straw weight to featherweight, and there's quite a few. Okay. Gaps so when do you fight next? I fight on March the sixth. Oh, okay. Who you know. Um, we haven't got a definite opponent yet. I do want to fight the WBC champion, who's another world champion. I'm yeah. into fighting world champions because I'm taking them all out. Right. <laughs> uh, and I believe that whoever it is, whoever it is, trust me, you'll get took out. I understand, I understand. Well, I like that confidence. Do you find that people sometimes resent, resent the confidence that you have? Um, people, oh, he's cocky, he's yeah, but no, yeah, there's a lot of people think that he's arrogant, he's cocky. It's, just, it's not that I'm arrogant, I'm not arrogant. And uh, I'm a down-to-earth guy and I just like to be very confident. And I'm a pure winner. People have got to realize I've been doing it from seven. I've been doing what I do from the age of seven, and all I do is win in style. Well, this is good. There you go, man. We'll be watching. Thank you, Prince. We'll be right back with Hanson right after this.